new cost being imposed on Muslim societies. Snobbery, homosexuality, anarchistic, paying no attention to national values, opposing Islam, ashamed of being a Muslim, pseudo-intellectual, pretentious, and having an inferiority complex. These are the tenets some Muslims would like to ascribe to a new youth model. Among these new attributes, homosexuality seems to lead the field, and thus it is promoted as another human rights issue. Above all else, homosexuality is forbidden in Islam and other Abrahamic religions, and the ones who commit this sin are requited with severe punishment. In some of today's societies, being opposed to homosexuality is considered as embracing a bigoted mentality, and thus many refrain from speaking out against it. Yet, the command against homosexuality is in the Quran itself. Therefore, it's not open to any other interpretation. Of all beings, do you lie with males, leaving the wives God has created for you? You are a people who have overstepped the limits. He said, I am someone who detests the deed you perpetrate. Embracing homosexuality inevitably destroys social morality by distorting the nature of families and thus raising the children in an unvirtuous lifestyle. The concept of family has been ruined and the number of illegitimate children being born has skyrocketed. To wit, in some areas in Scandinavia, 80% of children are born outside of a married family. The mental health of homosexuals is also precarious. In accordance with a health report from the US, Homosexuals are about 50% more likely to be subject to depression and engage in substance abuse than the rest of the general public, and the risk of suicide is more than 200%. It is an old story that AIDS is the primary cause of death of homosexuals. In a study in 2008, one in five homosexuals in 21 big U.S. cities were infected with HIV and almost half of them were unaware of their infection. They are also prone to many other STDs which are harmful both to themselves and to the entire society. Being unaware of these infections, homosexuals are in a risk group of spreading the diseases extensively through blood donations or injections or having significantly higher levels of promiscuity. As one study shows, 28% of homosexuals have had more than 1,000 partners. Additionally, AIDS is damaging to the economy. In the US alone, government investment in the domestic response to HIV has risen to more than $24 billion per year. This list of threats goes on forever, and it is an obligation to raise public awareness in order to take the necessary precautions to foster a better and healthy environment.